You like that shit? Um, so, Jeffrey Verity Schofield had his video reinstated. I've got to stop and think before I pronounce his name, because I, I want to say Jeffrey. Um, maybe I'll just refer to him as Jeffrey for the rest of the video. Jeffrey got his video restored, and I don't mean that to be condescending, it's just funny. Uh, got his video restored. I guess he blurred out part that Coach Greg wanted. Blurred out, whatever. Um, I don't know. He, he responded to a comment on my video saying that he wasn't going to make a response video, and that's that's his right to do. Um, I hope he's happy with the outcome of the situation uh, because it was his his channel and, you know, sort of his livelihood at stake uh, through this whole thing. Um, I guess the little props go to Greg for taking away the copyright strike and letting the channel be reinstated under some conditions. I'm sure there was a private conversation between Greg and Jeffrey. Um, I'm not privy to that. So, you know, again, if Jeffrey's good with it, I'm good with it. Uh, I just, man, like YouTube is volatile. I am, I do this shit for fun. I don't invest money in this stuff. I'm recording off a cell phone. I have a backup cell phone, um, for recording and that's it. And the only reason I have two cell phones is because, uh, I take care of my shit and when it was time to upgrade and we had to buy one get one free deal for my wife um, I still have my old phone so um, yeah I don't have any skin in the game as far as that goes uh, I've been in and around the platform for a long time um, and uh, you know the internet in general is fickle if, if you're making a career uh, through the internet it can be a prosperous one um, it's a great tool uh, obviously I use it to advertise my salon, you know, that's more locally and on Facebook. Uh, but you're connected to the world. So, you know, you have the whole world to advertise to and get your message out to, which is awesome. Uh, but you know, the internet can turn on you. And when it does turn on you, if you, you know, your 90, 80, 90, 100% of your business goes through the internet and is based around the internet, especially based around your popularity on the internet. Um, you can go from hero to zero, uh, just as quick as you went from zero to hero. And honestly, the, the overnight successes usually aren't overnight successes. Um, you'll see something go viral, but that person may have been creating content or uploading for, you know, like five years. And then they had one video go viral overnight, and then now they made it. Um, and and it seems like, you know, that's all there was to it. So, uh, again, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that that's not something I have to rely on at this point. Um, so, that's really what I want to say. <laughs> it's like, the internet's fucking fickle. Um, it just goes to show, like, how quickly... Things can kind of turn. Uh, again, good for Jeopardy that it worked out. Um, but it seems like, you know, on YouTube Fitness, that's kind of the nature of the beast, right? Is you call out your way to the top. Uh, again, I've been in and around YouTube. Can I say going on a decade now? I think I uploaded my first video in like 2013. Um, somewhere around there. So, you know, I've seen people come and go. Uh, we've seen people even within the fitness community itself, uh, like be on top and sort of disappear. Uh, so just diversify your bonds. Um, yeah, don't put all your eggs in the YouTube basket. I mean, again, it, it's a great, the internet is a great platform to, get exposure because it is literally unlimited, uh, to how much exposure you can get, uh, you know, but that can be bad. And the, the people that are big, they don't want other people getting big. They can say that, you know, they'd like to help other people, but how often do you see it? How often do you see like the really astronomical channels 
like throwing a bone to the little guy. I think even I'll date myself a little here. Um, Endomorph Beast way back in the day uh, made a video about reverse hating, and it's you know somebody who got to the top or got high up, uh, not wanting to throw a bone down to the little guy to help them out. Um, and you know back back in those days, like if a big person gave you a shout out, it was almost like an instant you know, half the community was going to subscribe to you. Uh, these days, you know, I've had Johnny Candido give me a shout out and it netted me like 10 subscribers. <laughs> so, um, again, the standards are a lot higher now as far as production and content and everything. Uh, but at the end of the day, you still have to get yourself exposed and get yourself out there. And it seems like the formula for that now is critiquing, and or calling out uh, people that already have a big following. Uh, so if you're going that route, and if you're making a career out of this, uh, which I probably wouldn't recommend uh, just due to the volatility, but you know, there's there's both sides of that coin. Um, I guess, you know, be careful. Make sure you know your own legalities to a given situation uh because e even what's right and what's wrong sometimes gets skewed and the person in the right can be the one who doesn't end up the beneficiary of the situation and can off themselves basically um so yeah guys i'm i'm again i'm glad for jeopardy that it worked out Assuming it worked out the way he wanted uh, his videos back up. Um, I hate to see a smaller person, you know, kind of have their career dangled in front of them and be reliant on somebody who realistically doesn't give a shit about them. Um, I'm just kind of hoping, you know, that, that they do the right thing. And I guess on paper at surface level the right thing was done as far as we can tell. So it's all we can ask for. Peace.